E350 with that motor and drivetrain? It is the probably the best motor drivetrain combination you can get in any any of these vans. I'm you surprised at how much space is in there and just super comfy. It's, this is it, bro. This, this is, is the luxury. One. Luxury. <laughs> Comfort and it's yeah. finest. Look at all this space. I can show I can sleep right here. I don't even have to be back there. Sick. This is yeah. probably the best one we've seen yeah. all day. Honestly. Uh, my name's TJ. I'm the owner of GT Vans, a van conversion company that I started in, uh, well, during the pandemic in my garage, and now we're here at my warehouse. It's like semi a junkyard, but like, it's legit. Sounds like a good warehouse to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys our latest project that we've been working on. We're like really close to completion and we named it the Ragnar. There's a bit of history about the Ragnar. That's it back there? Yeah, that's it right there. Normally we're building the vans, you know, and like that's really fun and that's what like keeps everything going. But this was like a project that I bought because I was like, this thing is rad. It's got a diesel 7.3 engine. Like it's like the holy grail of, of diesel Ford Econa lines. And I was like, I just want to make something different, rad, that has like a lot of space, a full shower, like something my girlfriend would be like happy to like yeah, live in. Yeah, right, know? right. So, we're not going to live in it, but it's like, you know, yeah. it was just, it's a fun thing for me to do. So. so how long have you been doing this now? So my, I come from a filmmaking background. I filmed skateboarding for a living and I was just like, I bought a van, was like kind of doing it for fun. And then, you know, the pandemic hit, everything slowed down and I started doing it. So I was building them for like two years before the pandemic. And then, you know, pandemic hit and like, a ton of people were like yo can you help me with this and i want to build this van and like whatever and i was just like yeah pull it in the driveway i had like a three car driveway and i was like just making it happen uh you know just staying busy yeah stay at home order right and right right so, you know five years probably oh like, damn but like not full time yeah and i'm still full time filming you know like i'm right. still going on trips i'll be gone two three weeks at a time and luckily i have a good team now that keeps everything rolling but before when I would leave on a trip, everything would halt. Right. You know. Right. So now it's like we can actually keep everything rolling, and and it's yeah, it's rad. We you had to like, scale. To be honest, it naturally just happened, which like yeah, that's super, sick. I'm super thankful about, and it's like rad. And how many vans have you sold now? Like, how many uh, projects have you done for other people? Not just like sold or whatever. But yeah, like, I mean the selling thing is like it always. Like, I haven't done too many of those, but those are like the fun ones where I can pick the creativity and right. like, have fun with it. Right. But as far as like selling or building them for like customers and helping people, like, we do a lot of like little jobs. Like we we'll yeah. just only install the windows and wire stuff for people, and right. they want to build the rest, which is like cool. But probably like I don't know. Over 50 in the 60s, probably. Oh, shit, really? Maybe more. Oh, I didn't I know even, that. I don't even know. I'd have to, like, really look back. Dude, I was under the impression that it was, like, 10, maybe 15. Okay, so what? This looks like it was, like, a U-Haul or something. So, yeah, this one's kind of got a funny history. So, it started off... Damn, dude, the fucking Baja lights and everything. Yeah, we, it's got the Illuminous bumper. It's got the custom... Like, it's, yeah. We the really, two winches. I really, I really didn't, like, cut any corners with this one. I, like, you yeah, know, we really kind of went for it. I repainted the whole thing. Okay, but the history of it is it was uh, born in Texas, I believe, or that's where it was purchased first. Yeah. And it was a mobile blood clinic. So, like, you know, like Red Cross style thing. Where, right, right. You know, you, you go and give blood. That's, like, what this was, and that's, like, what the original chassis is. A lot of people are like, is that an ambulance or is that a U-Haul? And it was like, no, it was, like, just built to be a blood clinic. Like, the Red Cross might have owned it. I don't know if right, right. owned it. But the guy I bought it from bought it. And like just built like a really like old school like RV style build. Yeah. Which was like fine. And I bought it in twenty twenty when I was like, oh shit, like the world's ending or you know, whatever. Yeah, I was like, yeah. you know what? I'm gonna buy this because if I lose my job or whatever, like I'm gonna live in this thing. Right, you right. Know, nothing ever happened. And now you've been able to turn <laughs> and it now into I've this. Been sitting on it for like a couple of years. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, a couple of homies stayed in there and like the old build and whatever and just like it was kind of just like my guest house yeah my yeah driveway for a long time that's cool and then i was like all right you know we're doing this yeah you know, like i really want to build this thing and i want like to take adventures in it and you know eventually pass it on to somebody which right. actually is coming sooner than i anticipated yeah 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 like we really enjoyed it but now it like hyped me oh. up and i'm like I want to build like more of these. So right. I'm sell this one and then buy, you know. So yeah. Now I'm just like all excited about doing something that's not just a van. Right. I don't have anything against vans or sprinters. I love them. I'll build your sprinter. Like I'm down. But you just literally want to create bigger stuff. Yeah. I just, yeah. Like, I have more fun with it. Because if you step in here, it's like, 
You actually have like some, and it's still under construction. Like, uh, when you step in here, you're actually like in an apartment. You know? <laughs> it's pretty yeah. sick, dude. It's not like you're like, oh, I gotta like crouch over and like, uh, yeah, know, no, take my, you know, or whatever. It's like, no, like, I mean, you're what? You like, got my closet right here. You take your jacket off, you put it in, you know, so you got. There's not a hanger yet. It's still working yeah, yeah. on it, but you get the idea. And then... I mean, you're what, 5'11"? This has got to be like at least seven feet up yeah, here, right? I'm 5'11", and it's... I think it's 86 inches, which is like... Yeah, I don't know what... It's tall. It's yeah. Like pl <laughs> plenty good. Like, you can... Like, I can almost do like a full stretch. Right. I mean, you can. Right. My girlfriend's like 5'4", and she can do it. She can like fully do yoga in here. And, like, That's there's, sick. Like, plenty of space. Yeah, I mean, I remember the old, the old build too, and it was, you know, it was kind of dated. So coming in here now and seeing what it is, it's, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it was like fine for most yeah, people. Yeah, for like, sure. I just like, I love, like this. The attire was just dated. The scenery yeah. was just a little dated, but it looked good yeah, still. Yeah, it was like yeah. fine, and like this is like. You know, this isn't, like, anything insane. Like, I'm not saying we're, like, reinventing the wheel with this, but I just, like, wanted to do something really nice, and I just wanted to, like, be creative, and I really like, like, blacks and grays, and this bamboo is just, like, so beautiful. That's the same thing that's here, right? Yeah, this is bamboo. So what would you say percentage of completion that this is? Um, I mean, realistically, we're just, like, fine-tuning a couple things, and, like, just tidying up like little odds and ends like obviously the face of this is on because we are work or off because we were working on it this is like the whole electrical hub so it, i would say it's like 96 percent oh damn and just a little bit of dust so it's like done yeah you just gotta clean it yeah, up yeah and then you know we're like racing to get it done for this show that's like about to happen and we're gonna display it and see what people like think about it sick and, i love <laughs> this thing insane well, what's your initial thoughts uh i want it <laughs> <laughs> it's great man absolutely one of the coolest things i've seen here dude nice. yeah, hopefully it's like a, a good turnout but let's look at the shower yeah check the shower out uh the toilet's not in right now but this is where the toilet goes so you have like an actual toilet and then it's like the rain shower yeah dude that is sick yeah and that's really cool the actual like you know nice and then this is also a window so you can do an outdoor shower with this thing. oh what yeah and there's a hook on the outside so you can like shower on the outside and then for those like super long number twos charge your phone <laughs> or your laptop dude you were thinking you were thinking <laughs> yeah. and this is all like waterproof stuff so it's... that's a dude thing yeah I mean, dudes sit on the toilet forever Sometimes your your legs go numb. Right. <laughs> so what? The, okay. So this pulls down to the screen. Yeah. I saw that earlier. And so then these it, are these are all windows. They're this company art. Oh, yeah. dude, this is the coolest shit ever. Yeah. So it's a screen, and then it's also like a blackout, which has like on the if you look from the outside, it's like a reflector. It's a reflector, but then you can have the screen for the bugs, and then you can also just like have it open, and then all these lock it. This is like pretty cool actually because you can do like kind of cracked medium cracked full crack or you can lock it before it locks or it's this one you can go and it's like actually a little cracked even though it's, oh i see so that's like half crack and then if you really want to close it like watertight you go full crack and then you're like all right time for this nice dude yeah so like if you look at everything in here like we did all the cabinets flush right i like this like sleek design and, right like, that's what we did with like this like it's like flush the outlets flush but it pops up but i like that it's like hidden and the sink's hidden you know it's like all flush but you know if you want a sink or you need a cutting board you have it you know? yeah and we're still working this out but this is also going to be an extension of like a cutting board here oh cool so it'll kind of be like you pull it out and you have oh it, like, sick okay space but and this is like i don't the first one i've done in a van that's this large but it's a little whiskey cabinet wine cat whiskey whiskey yeah. wine Alcohol like cabinet. You fit wine bottles and then down here you can do whatever and this is more for like all your uh you know big spoons and stuff for cooking but this is kind of cool too you can do like the drying rack 
Oh, that's sick. This does this come out into a bed? Because I saw yeah. a hinge back there. Yeah. So, so yeah, this goes into a bed too. It's a uh, six feet and drops into a bed and Dude, there's nice. an outlet that's gonna go there, which is which will be nice. But yeah, this is like fully like another bed for two two people if you really wanted. But yeah, I mean you're almost six foot and yeah. you fit on it. Yeah, I made it six and then it's like six and some change. So this is the guest room. Yeah, yeah. This is the guest room. And then both of these swivel around, which it's not a design flaw. I just wanted this six feet. I could have made it shorter to like get this to fully swivel. But it's actually still pretty chill. Yeah. Like kick it right here or whatever. And then you got a foot rest if no one's chilling there. Yeah. Like, and if you really Dude, that looks pretty cozy, not gonna lie. Yeah, it's actually not bad. Yeah, I had the seats redone. I have like an insane upholstery guy. JC's fine upholstery. So if you have like a little person, like a like a child. Oh, dude, nice. You got like one more bed. Right. Like kinda. <laughs> I mean. It's fine. It works. But it's more just so that like, you know, like we took this. You could put a crib right there probably. Probably. You or know? like a dog bed. Right, you know? just yeah. Just throw a dog bed there and right. just soaks, you know? Dogs are stoked. A lot of hours have gone into this and like, yeah, I, you guys will meet the team, but like, yeah. I mean, yeah, dude, I remember a year ago seeing the, like I said, seeing the old, Has it like, been a year since we talked about, like, dude, I, I think like, so. I think so. Time goes by fast. All right, let's go outside. But yeah, we can go outside and then, well, I do want to show you the switches. Cause oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like my favorite part. So they're all like touch switches. So you just kind of like, and they're all in dimmers. Damn. Same thing though, and then like, this is like a nice touch that is uh, recent to all of the builds that we Oh, the stair lights. That we do here, yeah. Like hide the little LED. They say don't tell everyone your secrets, but it's pretty fucking obvious what's going on here. Yeah. <laughs> but we just hide a little LED strip under here, and it kind of just gives it a nice glow. Right, you know? that's sick. And all the lights in here are warm. They're like the, the warm, which is like, super like nice ambiance yeah but for the step and the exterior lights that we have i did the like brighter blue because you actually scientifically see that better see better yeah so believe it or not this is what it looked like before now we're here i mean it's dusty we'll get we'll add the nice photo right here so, a luminous front bumper these are Vantage Optics. It's a guy locally, his name's Scott. Uh, they're super cool. We had to match the color of the shroud to the color of the Raptor paint. That oh, that's here. cool. Yeah, and then these are Baja Designs. The winch isn't in yet, but it does have a winch. And then it has the trusty old 7.3 liter diesel engine with 50,000 miles. Which, not even broken in. Yeah, not even, that's not crazy. even close. Dude. Do you know what the, what's the year? So it's a 97. That's crazy. Only 50,000 yeah, miles. It's a blood clinic. You know, they took it just barely. And then the guy drove it from Texas to here, had it for like a year. And then, yeah, it's honestly just been kind of sitting here and I've taken it out yeah. time and time again. But So we painted the whole thing with a product called Raptor Liner, which I'm a big fan of. I kind of, we always use it on the fenders. Like we're about to paint some right here. Everyone loves the textured Raptor paint. It's sick, man. Not everybody, but... I, I like, like it. It, it, it gets, like, less dirty, I feel like, too. Yeah. And then every light on this thing is LED now, so we changed every light out. Uh, this rack was custom-made in-house uh, by my buddy Billy, who's, like, my fabricator. And then these were, like, kind of the old openings for, like, the water heater and stuff, which now this is the new water heater which is an aqua hot, which is what we're hooking up right now. AJ's under there working on it <laughs> right now. How's it looking, AJ? Pretty good. Hell yeah. <laughs> nice. And then this is the garage, which uh, is quite massive um, for, it's just under the bed. You know? right, 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 right. I just wanted a place where I could put all the toys, you know, and there will be a light in here and all this will be- Oh, clean. so this is just gonna be empty space for- For just whatever, yeah. So oh, that's sick. Or, whatever you know firewood yeah yeah that's cool and then under here is uh 58 gallons of fresh water oh wow so it's got 58 gallons which is like it equates to like 500 pounds or something which is actually don't quote me on that but it's somewhere around like that's a lot 500 pounds which is a lot but when it's full 
there's an upgraded suspension on this, a WeldTech designs a suspension, and it actually like the leaves like still hold the weight really well nice. for how much weight is in here. Yeah. And we try to distribute it really well with like all the electrical and fridge and everything being on that side of the vehicle. Right. And then the water and kitchens like on this side. So it's like pretty evenly distributed. So it's got a box, it's got a tire, and it's got a ladder. Let's um, get in there yeah, and you see. Wanna, you gotta be oh! Able, you gotta come check it out. Oh! The whole, the ladder. So this ladder goes up to the, the yard is what we've been calling it. Can I go, go up there? It. Yeah, go check it out. It's the yard. Oh, the yard, dude. You weren't kidding. <laughs> Do we have any golfers watching? fucking hit some shit off this but yeah this is dope i saw someone do this also i can't claim that this is my idea but i saw someone do this and i was like that is so fucking cool it really is this is dope yeah the dream is to like it hasn't left here since it's been astro but as soon as we get this thing to the desert it's gonna be so rad to just tee off fuck yeah even just lay here and like i know i kind of don't want to get down like you're, you're safe up here right like i'd be really surprised if a bear could climb this ladder no hell no so and then that being said this is like another place for people to sleep yeah it's pretty fucking then, dope yeah ac unit and two ventilation fans and then this whole rack is another thing i wanted to mention it's made out of uh this product called 8020 it's like extruded aluminum which is like lightweight very sturdy like super super sturdy none of it's welded at least this part, the front rack is, but it's all like tied in if you look. It's all tied in with Allen bolts, stainless bolts and brackets and stuff that it's like really strong and, and lightweight. And that's yeah. why we went with this because this is 15 feet by nine feet. So currently this vehicle is only two wheel drive. It does have a dually in the back, which helps with traction, but it's only two wheel drive, rear wheel drive. So it's not like super, super capable, but it is like fairly capable because it has a lift, it has off-road tires. Super capable meaning what though? Like, I don't know, like you're not gonna, you know, go through Moab and rock crawl like the Jeep guys, but- Well, looking at this thing, I don't think anyone would want to take this rock crawling. No, but I'm just saying like, as far as capability, it's like, it can get you where you need to go. I mean, you can drive it in the desert, just don't rock crawl it. Yeah, and like, I don't know, it'll it'll make it really far, further than like most, probably like normal vans or whatever. Yeah. But we have these, just in case. Wait, what is? So this is Max Tracks, is what it's called. Do you put them under the tire? Yeah, so if you get stuck. Oh. Like there's a shovel and stuff in here too. Oh, sick. Shovel and all the you know tools and stuff stay in here so they don't you know rattle around or yeah so you pull this off you know say you're stuck and then you're like right, dude that's sick yeah that's so. so smart yeah and there's like a version of these Max Tracks is the brand but they have a, a little metal tip in them so they actually look oh red. I see because other companies make them and they're just plastic but these are like metal tipped so yeah dude this thing's a beast man okay yeah. so what is it is it for sale or no i do want to pass it along it wasn't my original plan i wanted to keep it for me and my lady to like travel the country but i just want to build another one that kind of concludes where we're at with it i think um and we're gonna jam on this thing basically starting tomorrow it's like all hands on deck to get to this show the adventure van expo which is like a, a van meetup show that uh, kind of displays a bunch of different companies and like what they build and what they do. Yeah, E350 with that motor and drivetrain. It is the probably the best motor drivetrain combination you can get in any any of these vans. I'm surprised at how much space is in there and just it's super comfy. It's, this yeah. is it, bro. This, this is, is the luxury. Luxury. <laughs> Comfort at its yeah. finest. Look at all this space. I can, show right. I can sleep right here. I don't even have to be back there. This yeah. is probably the best one we've seen yeah. all day, honestly. <laughs> This is what we're displaying along with Poppy the Sprinter, which is also the GTV company Sprinter, that we're gonna display both of our our kind of our work in different forms. The Sprinter is like a small, more compact with a pop top, and then this is like our new holy this is your, grail. This is your big daddy. Yeah, this is the big daddy. This is like where I personally want to go with the brand and where we're gonna like kind of move towards in the future. I have like a couple 
you know, potential clients that have bigger vehicles like this, ambulances and stuff like that, that you will see in the future. And I'm really excited to work on this. This is just so fun. <laughs> Dude, this thing's a beast, man. Yeah.